Okay, good morning, everybody. So today we're going to continue our October challenges. So get out your sheet where you've documented how many of these different challenges and how many you've done or how long you did it for. And but today I want to do something a little bit different with you, and I'll explain it to you in a minute. But first, I always like to warm up with a little bit of stretching. So reach up, breathe in. Breathe out. Reach up. Breathe in. Oh, breathe out. Okay, get your arms up. Little baby circles. Make them a little bigger. Keep doing it. A little bit bigger. A little bigger. Little bigger. All right, now let's start cross. Spread your legs a little bit. Now start crossing them. Keep it up. I'm going to challenge you with this in a second. All right, I'll go the other way. Big circles. Excellent. Okay, making smaller circles. Keep doing it. Your arm's starting to feel a little heavy. Smaller circles yet. Now, don't put them down. Keep them there. I don't want to talk to you. Now, keep them there. We're going to keep them there for a little bit. I want you to feel what it's feeling like in your arms, in your muscles here. It's starting to feel a little bit hard, right? Remember in our Borg scale, we wanted to get to the point where it's hard. Well, that's, uh, that's probably pretty hard for you right now. See if you can still do it. Okay, now, isn't it interesting how that feels? That's not pain, that's discomfort. Okay, I'm starting to feel it as well. Okay, so put them down. Okay, so remember we talked about the board scale and the way you really get into really good uh, physical fitness is to work, so it's kind of hard. Okay, there's a concept in Judaism, and it's some things that we've been focusing on in school called the Midot. And the one I want to talk to you just a wee bit about is this one that's called Bakira, and it's also called a choice point. And what it is, is that little place, like when we put our arms up here where it started to get kind of uncomfortable, it's that place where you are challenged to make a choice to maybe stop, or to continue. So that kind of happens in a lot of places. Another way to think about it, we are in a, this Bahira point, this place where we make a choice when we sense a struggle between what we know is the right thing to do and what we feel we want to do. So when we do it on the, it's easier to see it on the Borg scale when we do fitness, because that's what I deal with a lot. But you can do this, this happens and a lot of times in our life, whether we want to brush our teeth or wash our face uh, or, or take a bath or do our homework or any number of things. Okay, eat our vegetables. So at some point, it's going to get a little bit hard. That's where it really is challenging. And that's where you make a choice. Do I continue or do I not? Okay, there's one thing before we go any further. There is something that you really have to be aware of, and especially when you're doing fitness things. If you feel that it's painful to do, then you stop. Like if you twist your ankle and um, uh, the teacher says, okay, you still got to keep running. No, you do not, because it could be painful. That will hurt your ankle. That is not good. But let's say we're doing some of these exercises and it starts to feel like we did here. It starts to feel, well, that really starts to feel a little bit, not painful, the way you would describe it is uncomfortable or discomfort. <clears throat> and that's okay. You, you can go beyond that a little bit. Maybe not too much. All right, so. All right, with that being said, we're going to do some of the fitness things, not all of them. And the first one we'll do is... And we'll do um, the burpees for 50 seconds. I think in the past we've done them for 45. 
So we'll do it for 50 seconds and we'll start when it gets to 510. And you'll do as many as you can. Okay, ready? And go. Keep up a nice pace. seconds. 15. 10 seconds left. And last one for me. And stop. So, what I want you to do. Okay, let's get out your sheet. Put down today's date, under burpees, 50 seconds, how many you did. Okay? All right, so let's now, let's go ahead and do, I think let's do the sit-ups. And I'd like to do that, I think in the past we did for 30 seconds. This time, I want to do it for 45 seconds. Okay, so we'll start at, let's start at 7.45, we'll go to, or 6.45, we'll go to 7.30. Ready, go. And remember to bend your arms, bend your knees. You have somebody holding your feet down or put them underneath the sofa. Okay, we're going to stop it in a couple seconds because I did lose the time and I had to try to get it back on. So, okay, put down, get your sheet of paper, put down how many you did. In 45 seconds right and that's what I said all right so now we only have two more to do we're doing great we're gonna do a plank for one whole minute and let's start that when it gets to 800 okay remember when you do a plank we try to keep our bodies stiff as a board and see if you can keep it there without your knees touching or your belly touching so get on your elbows, get your knees off the ground, and your belly off the ground, or your hips off the ground. Keep everything off the ground. And see if you can do it for a minute. Okay, so at some point, you're going to really feel the Bahira point, right? For each of us, it's different. Some people might feel it right now. And maybe they can't do a whole minute. Maybe they only can do 30 seconds, and that'll be okay. Then stop at 30. But what I want you to do is to find that Bahira point and then go even a little bit beyond. You don't have to do the whole minute. Find your Bahira point where it's uncomfortable. Go beyond it. Okay, in my clock, we have another 10 seconds for those of you who did the whole minute. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, very, very good. Okay, we got one more to do. Okay, and that is, we're gonna do a sumo sit. We're gonna do a sumo sit for one minute. So after you wrote down uh, how much time you did on the plank. Get ready. We'll start it at 9.30 for one minute. And you can either get by a wall, put your back against the wall. And we're going to sit for a minute. At some point, you're going to feel it in here. Now, I'm starting to feel it pretty much almost immediately because 
This is the third time this morning I've done these. I just did a workout for the sixth, fifth through eighth graders, which was a little bit harder, which was very hard. Then I did a workout for the third and fourth graders. That was pretty hard. And now I'm doing one for you, K through second. And this is kind of hard. Okay, I'm gonna hide this because it doesn't do any good right now to look at the clock. If you can't do it for a minute, what did I say, a whole minute? When did we start? Uh-oh, I lost track of time. I can't remember. I think it was 9.45. So we'll go to 10.45. So I'm going to show you the clock. You can do it the last 10 seconds. So I'm being uncomfortable is okay. I'm really feeling it, but I know I can do it. Okay, and up. All right, great job. Okay, so now I think you really got the feeling of where is that Bahir point? Can I go slightly beyond it? You don't have to go big time beyond it. Just go a little bit beyond, okay? All right, so let's end with a little sun salutation. Reach up, dive down, touch your toes, touch your knees, touch your toes. Get into a plank. Go to the mat and then reach up to the cobra. Go down to the mat again. And then go to downward facing dog. Step up. With your feet between your hands. Touch your toes. Touch your knees. Touch your toes. Reach up. Take a breath. All right, one more. Breathe out, breathe in, stretch out, breathe in. Dive down, touch your toes. Touch your knees and your toes. Back to a plank. Lower to the mat, up to the cobra. Mm. Down to the mat. Up to downward facing dog. Step up between your hands. Touch your toes, touch your knees, touch your toes. And come on up. <sighs> Breathe out. Okay, ready? Another breath in. All right, get a chair. I don't think we did this before. But we're going to start doing, doing a mindful sit, okay? So get on a chair, okay, feet on the ground. You can have your hands like that or on your knees. Your back is kind of straight, not perfectly straight, but kind of straight. And all we're going to do is basically breathe. And what we're going to do is feel our breath. Feel our breath going in. Feel our breath going out, in and out. Now, some people like to close their eyes. You can do that if you're comfortable doing that. If you don't want to, that's okay. Just, just tuck your head down and look kind of down that way. All right. And now what's going to happen is we're going to kind of lose our concentration to a thought, to a feeling, to a sensation, to a noise. And we're not going to care about that at all. We're just going to let that go. Even if it's a good thought, good noise, good sensation, we're going to let it go. And we're going to come back to our breath. Got it? All right, so let's go ahead and do that for one minute. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in slowly. And then breathe out slowly. Breathe in. Breathe out. When you breathe in, can you feel the air going into your nose? And breathe out. Now, if you like, you can breathe in through your nose. Breathe out through your mouth. That's a good way to do it. Do that. Breathe in through your nose. Out through your mouth. 
in, out, in, out. Okay, believe it or not, that was a minute. And some of you might have felt that that was easy to do. Some of you might feel it was hard to sit there, and that's okay. But each of us reaches our Bahira point in different things at different times. Okay, I think you did a great job today. And I'll see you next time.